This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. We've got the hardest division to break down in the NFC South. The Buccaneers winning it last year with a 9-8 and record. Buccaneers win. So just the Bucs making the playoffs last year just at 9-8. and Let's look at them again. Let's see how they do. We're going to start with the Saints. Returning quarterback. All right. So as you know, much like every other professional sports team, we rely on one mm -hmm. single intern to do all of our social media accounts. Thankfully, we have a great, great group of candidates on deck for our virtual interview. Let's get these interviews started, OK? okay. But I'm sorry, but don't you already work here? I can't have a side hustle. Hello, Margaret. Margaret, hi. Um, I see you're joining us from outdoors. Uh, how's the weather where you are? Well, it is cloudy, it's warm, it's humid. Temperatures right now near 80 degrees. In the morning. <laughs> okay, and uh, do you have any questions for us? Just one. Do you guys supply the cognac? Or do I bring my own? <laughs> Good question. Now you will have a lot of sensitive information. Now, that won't be a problem now, will it? Not at all. Sharing big secrets is not really my thing. We're seeing a gap in your resume since 2022. I mean, care to explain? Well, I retired uh, from being quarterback of the New Orleans Saints. I see, so no substantial experience since your last job? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally Drew Brees. This next person has a ton of experience and okay. some really, really exciting references, and I, I'm, I'm thrilled to meet her. Okay. So, you ready? Yes, I'm excited. <sighs> oh. <gasps> My God, girl, I know you lying. Now, would you be able to keep a low profile? Not a problem. I'm not really a partier. Uh, I just love, love the Saints. Then can you explain these photos we found of you from last Mardi Gras? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you tell us something about yourself that isn't on your resume? No. Oh. Well, now, baby, he is chewing that gum. Uh -huh. How would you respond to a social media threat? You mean other than just beat the crap out of them? Oh. What makes you the perfect fit for this role? I don't know. I, I feel like people on Twitter just get me. A very interesting candidate pool. I think we're gonna have a tough decision. <laughs> I would say so myself. I mean, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> or, or mm -hmm. we could just use AI to Ooh. generate all the posts from now on and call it a day. Babe, you ain't say nothing but a word. Let's get out of here. But <laughs> daiquiri's on me. Yes, okay. Pop the clock somewhere. <laughs> At Carolina Panthers, 12 o'clock, that should be a win. At Dallas Cowboys, that was 9-8. At 9-15, Dallas Cowboys, 12 o'clock at Cowboys. Week 3, Philadelphia Eagles, 12 o'clock. i give that a loss, a maybe. So we're either 1-2 and two or 0-3. Oh That's a loss, so... Monday, Kansas City Chiefs, that's a loss. So one in four. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, that's a win. This is on a home. Two and four, week seven, ten seventeen. Broncos, seven fifteen central time.
Week 8, 1027, 305 at Los Angeles Chargers. I'm going to take that as a maybe. Week 9, Heaven Dash 3, November 3rd, 12 o'clock. I'm taking the Saints. Week 10, Atlanta Falcons, 12 o'clock. I'm taking a maybe. Week 11, or November 17th, 12 o'clock, Cleveland Browns. I'm taking a win. Week 13, Los Angeles Rams, December 1st, 3.05. Take that as a loss. Week 14, New York Giants, 12 o'clock. I'm going to take that as a win. At New York. Twelve o'clock, Washington Commanders. Week sixteen at Green Bay Packers. That's a loss. Week seventeen, Las Vegas Raiders. That's a win. And week eighteen, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's probably a loss. So let's see how we're doing here. And that was 1223, 1224 Washington Commanders, 1223 Packers, 1229 Raiders. Taking them like nine and eight. See if they get in. Another nine and eight season for the Saints. We'll see if they get in. Let's go to a prediction for. Carolina Panthers. Mine, I ain't never been a pint or a draw or <laughs> no. Hey, I got my boy face your hair up here. I got to put some hair on my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little face your hair on there, a little mustache, a little beard. What y'all think? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. <laughs> Hey, I'm a first time painter. I ain't never painted nothing in my life. Y'all, yeah, as we can see, we got painting with friends. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Come on, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's James Harden. <laughs> Snipe me. I think this is straight. Ooh, he got the dreads in there and all. That was actually fire. You actually did a, a really great job. Can I get more red? <laughs> <laughs> This is my portrait of you. Dude, I like it. That's good. The skin tone looks spot on. All right. Soon to be hung up in the Jansen home. Wow. I appreciate you not putting in the few grays that I have. Hey, bro, hold on, look at me. <laughs> you look like the ghetto leprechaun right here. It ain't bad. Why, why am I here like that, though? I just know, I can see it through it. It's you over there BS here right now. <laughs> Bro, you are not doing that right now. That's you. You got a little head, big body. My boy looking like E.T. over here. Miss your teeth? Oh, I call this my first child. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. Hailing straight from Canada. Mr. Chuba Hubbard. Ooh, OVO Ting, what's up, Crudy? Oh, <laughs> I didn't like the mustache. <laughs> Here we go. I'm in the zone already. How are you? You haven't looked at me once. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> My ears are white. That's great. Look at me real quick. See what kind of tan you you got right now. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has turned out actually really nice. What, you got orange on there? That's a lot of orange. <laughs> a lot of orange. I feel like this is the little, like, wee character, you know? <laughs> I'm a better artist than I thought I was. Oh, fudge. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's not good. You just have a little dirt. You've been in the field for a day or so, <laughs> hunting around. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like a jack o' lantern. <laughs> Very dark on the beard. Something happened to your eyes. I am not sure. <laughs> just don't let that in like X, bro. We get the masterpiece. Sure, if you really want me to do this, Carolina Panthers fans, but I'm going to. Week one. New Orleans Saints, one o'clock. That's a loss. Week two, Los Angeles, and week one was nine eight nine oh eight. September eighth. Week two is September 15th, 1 o'clock. Chargers lost. I have to figure it out for the Panthers 3 and 14. Maybe if I have to figure it out for the Panthers to be a little better than the Cardinals, maybe 4 and 13. That's some of the Carolina Panthers. Next, we do. The Atlanta Falcons. Yo, bro, we got a tough schedule this year. I ain't gonna lie. We good, Bijan. Let's take it to the streets. We do not care. Week one, we're going to go over the Falcons' schedule. Falcons' starting quarterback this year is Kirk Cousins. But backing him up, which Kirk Cousins really wasn't happy about, is Michael Penix, Washington quarterback, who they went to the playoffs and lost the national championship to Michigan. Week one, they open the Pittsburgh Steelers. One o'clock. Week two, week one is 9.08. Week two is 9.16, 8.15 at Eagles. Give me a loss, so I've got winning one.
Losing one. Losing two. New Orleans Saints, 1 o'clock. I'll give them a win. Week 5, 8-15, Tampa Bay Buccaneers win. Three and two. Carolina Panthers, that's a win. Four and two. Week seven. Week three was 9-22 for the Chiefs and the Saints. Week four was 9-29. Week five is 8-15. Week six is Carolina Panthers. I gave that a win. Week 7 is Seattle Seahawks. October 20th. I gave that a win. At Tampa Bay Buccaneers, loss. So 5-3. and three. Dallas Cowboys, loss. 5-4. Five and four. At New Orleans Saints, loss. 5-5. Five and five. Seattle Seahawks, 1 o'clock. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 10-27. 10-13, Carolina Panthers, 4-25. Week 7, 1 o'clock, Seattle Seahawks. Week 8, at Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Week 9, Dallas Cowboys. So I've got them. At Denver, at New Orleans was the week previous week. Home to Los Angeles, 1 o'clock. At Vikings, 12-8. Kirk Cousins plays his former team. Week 15, Week 16, 1 o'clock, New York Giants. Week 17, TBD, Washington Commanders. To be announced what... I think what speaks to the fans is the risk. I think an artist or an athlete takes a risk. You put your body, your spirit, your mind in places you haven't gone before. There's been a lot of odds against us, man. And we overcame them. I don't like telling people that they're wrong. I just like showing them. If you don't believe in me, just sit back, just wait. Being able to harness the doubt that's being created from the outside, it reveals who you are. And it wasn't until that moment that I realized I was an artist for life. This game is special. The impossible is possible. And when you think something's not gonna happen, it happens. The limitation is that I perceive to be there. Now the reality has superseded that. There it is, the dagger's end. We're going to win the Super Bowl. That right there is, you know, true legacy. Well, it's called history. Ask Kansas City in 1979. The Buccaneers are the NFC Central Division champions. These pictures in art tell the story of what the Buccaneers have been. Who's going to tell those stories if not us? After I'm done playing, how are we going to be remembered? Hey, man, the journey is still out there. There are more Super Bowls to win. <laughs> what excites me about the next unknown is that nothing is promised. That game is only going to happen in that situation that one time. Once it's gone, it's gone. I think when you start to reflect on that and be consumed, you appreciate it that much more. It makes you go right back and start reflecting on where you came from does make those times when success finally arrives that much sweeter. Something that's almost indescribable. We all did a little part for this franchise. People don't forget. People know.
for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Schedule 2024. Baker Mayfield's their starting quarterback and Mike Evans returns. Week 1, Carolina, Washington Commanders, 425. Give me a win. 1 o'clock, 9.15. At Detroit Lions, give me a... At Detroit, so give me a loss. Week 3, Sunday, D, 1, no, 1 o'clock, Denver Broncos win. Week 4, 9.29... 1 o'clock, Philadelphia Eagles give me a maybe. Week 5, Atlanta Falcons, 8-15, 10-3. Week 6, 10-13, 1, 1 o'clock at New Orleans Saints, give me a loss. Week 7, Monday, October 21st, Baltimore Ravens, give me a loss. Monday night, home is Tampa Bay. Week 8, October 27th. One o'clock in Tampa Bay. Give me a give me a win. Week nine, eleven four at Kansas City Chiefs, eight fifteen loss. Week ten, eleven ten, one o'clock, San Francisco 49ers loss. Week eleven bye. Week twelve, Sunday, November twenty first, one o'clock at New York Giants. Give me that a win. Week thirteen. Carolina Panthers, 12-1 at Carolina. Give me that a win. Week 14, Las Vegas Raiders, 12-8, 1 o'clock. Give me a win. Week 15, December 15th, 425, Los Angeles Chargers. That's a loss. That's a maybe. Week 16, 12-22, 8-20 at Dallas Cowboys. Week 17, December 29th, 1 o'clock, Carolina Panthers, that's a win. Week 18, TBD, New Orleans Saints in Tampa Bay, they give me a win. So, let's count them up. Buccaneers are going 8-9. and nine. Maybe Baker Mayfield could go 9-8, like, so we can have three teams that are... Now we're going to pick the NFC South with two 9-8 teams. That's coming right now. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Force Report.